don't know when that's going to take place. Well, okay, let's see what Paul happens to say about this. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive... I'm alive right now, so he's talking to me about this catching up to go and be in the presence of Almighty God. For we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Or we should not, the word prevent here is actually the word precede them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. That one's the folks that may be in the ground, but they're going to beat us out. <laughs> but this is the important verse right here, verse 17. Then, everybody say then. Then, God, then we which are alive, now, breathing, folks, not in the ground. We which are alive and remain, that's us right now, praise the Lord, shall be caught up together with them. That who, the, who's the them? The them are those who are coming up out of the grave, praise God, uh, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Not here on the ground, that's the second coming of the Lord. But when the, that trumpet sounds and Jesus descends, takes up his church, and we go with him along with the dead in Christ to be in the presence of Almighty God. To meet the Lord, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now here's the important thing. The words in verse 17 are, shall be caught up. And I'm going to preach this just a little bit, and then I'm going to, Brother Eddie's going to come back and sing. It's fine. The word caught up is the word in the Greek, H-A-R-P-A-Z-O, or harpezo. It is interpreted, that is translated, that catching up bodily into heaven. Amen. Now, I mean, folks, that's what the Greek says. Now, you may preach it some other way, but it clearly tells us that there is a resurrection coming and that we call that... for the. Well, I call it the catching away. Some people want to call it the rapture. And some people say, well, the word rapture is not even in the Bible. I said, well, I agree with you 100 percent. It's not in there. Praise the Lord. But catching up is. is. Hallelujah. To be caught up, shall be caught up. That is in here, folks. And praise God. And we're going to bring Brother uh, Eddie back here for just a moment, and then I'm going to continue with this just a little bit. Praise God. We'll get him to sing a couple of more songs. I know you'd rather listen to him sing than me. No, preach. no, no. I'll, it's got, got to have both. But, you know, that's the important thing to see. We, let's stop fighting about what we think the Bible says, mm -hmm. and let's just go with what it says. There you go. And, and if you'll just... Just read that verse like we just read it, praise God. Like it's printed. Like it's printed. And you'll begin to say, hey, well, how else can you interpret that? You can't. There's only one way. It said you shall be. Shall means it's going to happen. You can't stop it, folks. Will or may, might, you know, well, huh, I don't know. That, that's right. But shall means it's going to happen and you can't stop it. So if I can't stop it, I'm going to be a part of it. There you go. <laughs> Praise God. Come on, brother. Eddie. Hallelujah. Give us a couple of songs here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My mama and daddy talked about going home since I was just a babe on their knee. They said that nothing compared to what was waiting up there. How one day we would finally be free. Now I've never seen it, but I keep on believing it'll be a place like I've never known. I keep my eyes on the sky, cause my soul wants to fly. Lord, my heart is ready to go. I want to know how it feels to make my way down the streets of gold. I want to know how it feels to have a talk with the saints of old. I want to know what it's like to rest my feet by the river of life. I've heard heaven, I know that it's real. 
I want to know how it feels Sometimes I get thinking About this life that I live It seems that peace is something I'll never find I try to lighten my load But all that I've got to show Is 700 things on my mind But I'm having visions Of a crystal clear river Where sin's forgotten without a trace more than I've ever dreamed, my eyes long to see the look of love on my Savior's face. I want to know how it feels to make my way down the streets of gold. I want to know how it feels to have a talk with the saints of old. I want to know what it's like. Rest my feet by the river of life I've heard heaven and I know that it's real But I want to know how it feels I've heard heaven and I know that it's real But I want to know how it feels Amen I love that, you do that so well You know, I enjoy that so much, praise <laughs> God That's, What a feeling it is to know Jesus Christ mm -hmm. I mean you know, I know lots of folks in my life, and, and I could sit here and bore you with all kinds of names and, and things, but there's only one name that is important, and that is the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. And let, me, let me assure you folks that uh, Jesus is the way. The only way. The only way. Praise the Lord. And uh, hallelujah. I'm, I could tell you stories that would curl your hair uh, and, and how God has brought me through so many things. and. And there were times when uh, I was hoping that the catching away would take place, you know, when, <laughs> <laughs> and when the situation I was in at the time, and I'd get out of it, praise the Lord. But uh, mm -hmm. hallelujah, you know, they, they talk about prayer. And let me say this, folks, as long as there are wars, there's going to be prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, someone said one time, there are no atheists in foxholes. Uh, because people are praying. When those shells are coming in, and, and let me say this because I want to reach out to the, our troops today. Bless your hearts. God bless you. Praise the Lord for the sacrifice that you're making uh, for this country. Only two people ever died for the, for the people of this country. Jesus Christ and the soldiers. The only ones that's ever died for us. Hallelujah. So, and I, so I put their sacrifice not as high as Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but I certainly give them honor for sacrificing their, not only their lives, but their time and the efforts. And, and so many of our young troops coming back uh, halt, you know, wounded, hurt, missing limbs. What terrible things happen, but praise God. Well, let me say this, Jesus Christ is still with them. Amen. And like I said before, and you know, let me say something else. They, they've tried to take prayer out of school. There's not a school anywhere that I know of that prayer has been stopped. Mm -mm. Uh, as long as there are tests in school, there will be prayer in school. That's praise right. God. And I don't mean that to be funny, praise God. But prayer is there. And a lot of people don't understand what the Constitution says about prayer. Prayer was never stopped in our schools. Uh, but they've allowed, some people have allowed the way they interpret what the Supreme Court actually said to use as an effort to stop prayer. But the Supreme Court never stopped prayer in our schools. Now I say that, go check. Now go read it, folks. Go read what it actually says. Praise God. Now it restricts us from, as adults and outsiders, from interfering with school work, and the kids can do what they please. Praise God. Now, do you know there are still many schools because the Supreme Court never took the Bible out of our schools? And many schools today are still using the Bible as a reading tool. Hallelujah. I so I folks, it's, see, encourage them. Uh, yeah, and, and I love them for it. Praise God. Yes. Brother Eddie's coming to sing us another song here. Praise the Lord. And uh, I'd get carried away some of these times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come on, Brother Eddie. Hallelujah. And just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the beginning, the world was formed by your design. With just a word, the sun began to shine. Now you created 
lowest valleys and mountains tall. You made something out of nothing at all. My life was aimless, full of empty wasted years. I was lost and full of doubt and fear. Then you reached down, heard my anguish and desperate call. You made something out of nothing at all. I was nothing, just a beggar as low as I could be. I'm now the heir of heaven, royalty. You gave me light in my darkness. You gave me strength each time I fall. You made something out of nothing at all. You made something out of nothing at all. Well, we need to put Eddie's information up there on the screen so people well, know where to call him. he'll do it when he's singing him. next time, too. Praise God. I do I? I said he'll do it when he's singing next time, I'm sure. Okay, praise the Lord. Well, I want him to come and tell us about what he's doing. Oh, all right. <laughs> he's got it. And uh, you've been everywhere. Yeah. You, been, what's that song they sing? I've been everywhere. Yeah, I think uh, Brother Eddie's been uh, yeah, I well, there too. <laughs> yeah. You know, being an eight, driving an 18 wheeler, I, mm -hmm. I got to go everywhere from Miami to way up in Maine to, to the west coast of California. And what was so neat is I could use that truck to sing in churches too. Amen. You know, yeah. If I knew I was going to Portland, Oregon, then. I would get in touch with the church up there and then I would sing in, in Portland. So, yeah, being a truck driver, I got to do a lot of things. That's amazing. You know, uh, God makes a way, doesn't he? Yeah. Is the there by chance a city named everywhere? Any? That's a what? Is there by, have you run across the city and all your traveling that's named everywhere? No. They should. They should. Be. I bet there's <laughs> one out there somewhere. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But yeah. Arkansas is the only state that I've found that's got some peculiar names, you know, like Evening Shade and all those. Yeah. Those uh, names. Possum, of course, we get into Possum Trot, Possum, possum. Holler, and, yeah. and some uh, 66 and 56. And, yep. <clears throat> you know, uh, I, there's one ministry that I can't think of the people's names right now, but they have an 18 wheel uh, ministry and they have a chapel in their trailer. And they go to truck stops and uh, have church. The and truck I, driver you know, or yeah, ministry? Yeah, he and his wife are, are truck drivers. And they both drive. And uh, but they they just go from place to mm -hmm. place. And they say, you know, the wonderful thing about it, he said, you hear some terrible things about truck drivers and all. He said, but anytime that we stop, we're full. And we got people standing around. There's so, bad truck drivers, there's good truck well, drivers. That, there's bad right. church people, there's good church that's people. True. There's Praise bad God. motors. And the list goes on and on. But, you know, it takes a special person to take a truck out like that. And oh, just, it does. And trust the Lord, just like Brother Eddie taking trust in the Lord. I remember you telling some stories uh, one time about uh, you are doing something, your brakes were locked or something, and you got out of the truck to, to, to do something. Yeah, tell that testimony. You, oh, yeah. You had to run well, it down. Yeah, uh, <laughs> over Jasper, where I'm from, there's a, a, a brake check area for you to, to pull over and, and let your brakes cool or even check them. And by law, you're supposed to stop. Well, out west of Colorado places, they put most of them things on top of the mountain on level ground where you can stop and get out. Well, I had to stop on the mountain, and when I got out of my truck, it started rolling, and the brakes were locked, but apparently they was hot, and they wouldn't hold real good. So I was hollering, Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me, because there was an 80,000-pound truck fixing to roll off. And I'd run down on, under the bank and found a big, big rock and towed it back up there real quick and just stuck it there in front of the tar, and it, it about 
rolled over it, but it was enough to stop it. Well, Amen. only in Arkansas could you found that rock. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> only in Arkansas. But uh, anyway.